Hello. Hi Rebecca, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Zamunga sana so kula baba nange. Mzasi. Wewe wale kujaa. Nange never wale kujaa. We have to be here. We are getting lost. I know. All right, our dear viewers. Welcome to the show. And today we are bringing something new, something amazing, something interesting. Yes. And it is called the African Hub. Yes, you had us right. Yeah. It is the African Hub. We are introducing the African Hub on your show, on yeah. your network. We want you to follow us. And what you're going to be seeing is a lot about Africa. Yeah. You're going to be hearing everything to do with Africa. We are going to be talking Africa. We are going to be dressing Africa. We are going to be eating Africa. Singing Africa. <laughs> In fact, greeting Africa. Maybe oh, we can even right. start from there. Okay, yes, so let's greet are... Africa. <laughs> well, a disclaimer. If you hear at... <laughs> <laughs> greet in your language and you find maybe there's a correction that needs to be done you can use the comment section we're gonna try to greet in different countries in different languages yeah and i hope you love it so let's begin from where we come from uh in uganda i am a muganda by tribe and i would greet with osivio tio Mulimutia. Ngatuda muti tulivulonji. Mulimutie yu. Chia tui tulivulonji. Ava soga mulimutie yu. Ava soga. Ava nyankori muasiva mutash. Eh? Ubanka tuuse. Bagama mutash. Ava nyankori mutash. You can come in and then you correct us. And then now, let's go to East Africa. Yes. How do our sisters and brothers in Kenya greet? I think that is Swahili, right? Yes. Swahili is Habari. Habari zako. And then you would say Muzuri. Oh, Muzuri is Habari. Yes. And then uh, from uh, from East Africa, we are going to greet our sisters and brothers mm. in uh, in Rwanda. Yes. Uraho. Oh. Muramutsie. Very peaceful people though. Oh, yeah? oh yes. They take things so nicely, mm. so calmly. I love I, the way uh, we are yes. going to be taking you to all the East Africa, uh, to all the African countries. Yes. And somewhere, somehow, you will see how these Rwandis, you know, how they greet and they how they compose themselves. They are, they, I really love the them. The dancing. Too, it God. is the dance for me. I mean, the way they dance the way they throw their arms out there. The Pretty girls. Oh my goodness. They do it in such a majestic manner. Right yes. with us. And yes. then you'll be able to analyze and see what we are talking about. Mm. And then we are going to greet our dear brothers and sisters from Sudan. Yes. Yes. Uh, the Sudanese would say, Assalamu alaikum. Yes. And which is more of like how the, the Muslims greeting. greet. Yes. yes. So, and Assalamu then, uh, alaikum. And of let course, me, let me try response. that out yeah. actually. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hmm, you got it right. And then I would girl. say, Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yes. And then we have the ones from South Africa mm. who say saubona. saubona. I hope I got that right. <laughs> please, if you're from South Africa and you're watching this show, please come in the comment section yeah. and tell us how you greet yes. and what the response to that is. And then Ethiopians. They'll say salam. Yeah. Salam. salam. Uh, yeah, I think they are close. Similar to the, yeah, I they think are because way we close. have a really, really good closeness. Like when it comes to language, you might find that some a word in one language means some, uh, the same word means yeah. something else another language so i guess so we are, we are sisters and brothers not to forget that <laughs> yeah. of course we can never forget that <laughs> exactly. well mm -hmm. like we said this show is about africa just as the name suggests it is the easter uh, it is the african hub yes. i don't know i'm so much into this east african <laughs> you thing. shall know Probably as time that's... goes on <laughs> but let's get to know you more oh, all right but Thank like you. we almost missed on that <laughs> Oh, it's just all right, a trick for us. Yeah. All right, let me introduce myself. Mm. Well, our dear viewers, my name is Zam Navia, and um, I come from Uganda. If you notice, Rebecca and I come from Uganda, so mm. the greeting in Uganda was just kind of flowing. Mm. I don't just come from Uganda, anywhere in Uganda. I come from the eastern part of Uganda. I'm a Musoga by tribe. I'm a Musoga mwene mwene. Mwene mwene. I'm a Musoga by tribe. 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 Uh, we are attached with a lot of things. Uh, as you will come along with us, you will see what Uganda is, what the Eastern is known for. Yep. But hey, wherever we are talking about the Eastern part of Uganda, I'll be your girl. Yes. Atenja kuogera lusoga ruene. Ruene. Are you from outside Uganda and mm. you don't understand what I'm talking about? Just go into your Google and then search Lusoga and you'll find the meaning of some of these words. Exactly. Um, apart from being a Musoga Rebecca, mm. I uh, I'm residing in UAE right now and I'm um 
I'm having some work that I do here. This is not the only work that we do. Yeah. I work with Shaika International Group um, and I and my two other colleagues, we started up this company in the UAE. So basically Shaika is a Shaika International Group and uh, we deal mostly in, uh, rec- uh, we do a lot of customization. So if you're there and then you're looking for uniforms, you have a school and you need uniforms or you have a hospital, you need uniforms. We do all employee kind of uniforms. We do all kind of customization. Yeah. We do bridal entries, the suits and all this kind. Basically, as long as it is something yes. to do with the fabric, we are your guys. If it is anything to do with um, gifts, branding and all that kind of marketing, we are your people. And then apart from working with Shaika International Group, mm. I also happen to be the female representative of Ugandans in the UAE. Uh, Being in UAE for a long time now, we came to realize that there are a few issues that we face as Ugandans Mm -hmm. staying in the UAE. And I'm positive they are the same issues that all our African brothers and sisters face. So we kind of come up with associations that bring us together. I know some other countries like the Kenyans have met their president. They also have an association which takes them, which is called Kedwa. I think as we go on uh, uh, from here on, we may uh, find ourselves inviting this kind of people to come on our show exactly, and yeah. tell us about how their people are staying around mm. and i work on our association of ugandans as the female representative of ugandans in the uae okay. you realize that we have a lot of issues to deal with that but that would be a completely different show because we can take more than an hour exactly. just talking about yeah. that though we and promise to come with it yes well. and mm. then apart from that i also work as a brand ambassador of a different uh different number of companies uh some of them are banks others um property agents, people who sell land. I also deal with uh, different kind of things. But well, with time, maybe yes. maybe our producer will allow mm. us to mention these things. Maybe they mm. will come on the show and mm. they have a talk with our producer such that we can name them. But today, I don't want to be fired from the <laughs> show. So <laughs> I, will keep at, uh, I will keep it at that. Mm. So um, I'm also a mother, um, an amazing mother. Amazing, Should I say yeah. amazing mother? Am yeah. I? <laughs> Yeah, you, you are. Well, I'm a mother of two, yeah. and uh, I love you guys, uh, Sharif and Sheba. Mm. They are they are my life. So oh. yeah, they I mean, why mentioned. else would I be here I'm if it weren't for them? Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. So yes, that is uh, pretty much it about mm. me. And then as we go on forward, you'll be learning a few more things about me, um, the kind of things that I love doing. But yeah. That is basically what I can say Just about to myself. Begin with. Yes, that In is what we can begin. begin. <laughs> mm. Okay, so Bana, well, well, my name is a long one, but where should I start? Okay, my name is Rebecca Nanziri Sona. I think some of you might have seen me already on my YouTube channel, and this time I come even more broadened because I am. You know, you don't know Zam yet, but when you hear from her, the more you will get to love her. So I am so blessed to be working with you. And yeah, today I don't come alone. So Rebecca is my name, as you've heard. And to begin with, I'm a mother as well. I'm a wife and a mother, and I reside in the United Arab Emirates. And I am also working in DK Network. You should have seen that already on my YouTube channel. So DK Network, what we do is anything media, anything media, because when it comes to, to companies, we need to broadcast. People need to know our brands. So to make sure the brands are broadcasted and they are known around the world, that's when DK comes in. We make sure we draw a picture for you and we paint it out there for everybody to see the truth about your company and they see how you can benefit them. So that's about the DK part. And yeah, I also work with Sophia International Group. I cannot leave this behind because Sophia, Sophia International Group is my mother to start with. And I love to work with Sophia International Group. What we do is B2B and B2G where we link up businesses to businesses. If you have a person and you have, you have like a business you want to find clients i know it's kind of kind of difficult if you're the if you're one stand one one stand man but we connect you to your ideal customers and in the b2g we specifically do with business to government and the governments of africa so still in the right place the african hub talking about uh the connections that uh, sophia does mm. it is literally i think if you ask me i would say that 
everything being put aside, yes. ceteris paribus. I think yeah. I still remember that from my old days of high school. <laughs> yeah, ceteris yeah, paribus. I think the reason as to why we are actually coming on this show together mm. is because of this. We are trying to find a way yeah. how we can have people who are looking to get into Africa. Yes. How best can they get into Africa? Because when we talk about Africa, the opportunities are mm. endless. They are. They are pretty mm. much endless. You will see that when you talk about tourism, I mean, no one would talk about tourism without talking about Africa. When you look at the investment sector, I mean, now, if you ask me at this mm. particular moment, yeah. Africa is the next go area. It like, is. Every investor is now looking at going to Africa. Yes. And then when you talk about trade, I mean, what is there not to trade in Africa? Mm -hmm. When you look at people who are thinking about doing, uh, people who are into minerals, they are getting them from Africa. Yes. People who are into energy, gas, Still what, what. Africa. It is coming from Africa right yeah. now. And then when you talk about the agri sector, the agriculture sector, it is all coming from Africa. Mm -hmm. So we are here to tell you that. As the African hub, yes. Rebecca and I, yes. we are going to take you through a ride that you are going to witness what it is about Africa that you're missing out. So many things that you didn't even know are true about Africa is what you're going to find out. Some of what you're going to find out on this show. So on this show, we will be going into details yes. about these countries. So we will be talking about a particular country. Mm. And then within this country, we give you the details of this country. So we'll be talking about a specific country and then we'll be talking about its tourism sector. Yeah. What best can you expect out of that specific country? Then we'll be talking about its investment opportunities because we realize that some African countries, if not majority of them, they offer a lot of benefits to their investors. Some of them have tax-free incentives. Others Definitely. have, um, I mean, they have all kinds of incentives that mm. can bring in investors. But you realize that some of the investors we are having around, uh, yes. they don't know where they to go to. Idea, yeah. They don't know where mm. to start from some of them are even trying but the doors are so hard to crack yes here we are we are that crack that you needed to get yes, into africa the right door exactly the right door yes yeah. and then when you talk about trade i mm. mean who doesn't want to trade with africa who, who doesn't i mean who's there's not trading? so much to trade. I, I think we're asking even <laughs> the wrong questions who is not trading with africa right now whether directly or indirectly yeah it is either the shirt you're wearing somewhere mm. somehow the cotton is coming from africa mm. or the food that you're eating I mean, it may not be the ready food, but at mm. least the ingredients are coming yes, from Africa. The mm. There is something about Africa that is found everywhere. It is like, I always call it the mother. It right? is. We are the mothers <laughs> of the world. Yes, we are. Yeah. And then there are also some Africans who are all over the world. And you know that, you know, you, you're looking for a place of belonging. If you are on diaspora, especially you're not in Africa right now, like we are, yes. this is the place you come. And you feel home, you know. There's a time when you miss your country and you'll be like, oh my God, I wish I can I can just have a feel, at least a touch of my country. So we are here. Whenever you miss Africa, come in. Bring in your friends and let's talk Africa. You're talking about talking Africa. It, I yes. mean, if you're there and you're watching, <laughs> when you look in the background, you realize that we have a lot of Africa going on. A in lot our of background. Africa is going on. In yes, in our background. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we have these kind of groups where mm -hmm. we come together and then we do the African dances. Yes. Especially the Ugandan dances because we are coming from Uganda. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were somewhere and we met some uh, group of Africans. Actually, it was at Dubai Mall. Yeah, we were at Mitko. Yes, we were having, Mall, yeah. uh, it was dinner somewhere. Dinner there. Mm -hmm. And then these guys were drumming African and then it was <laughs> extremely amazing. I was like, yes. Everybody was astonished. Like, oh this my is God. Africa. Yeah. I mean, everywhere you go, there is that touch of Africa. There mm -hmm. is that sense of Africa. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're there and you want to have fun with Africa, I, I'm saying, I mean, what are you looking for? What are you waiting for? Come, just follow us. Ride this ride with us. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have a blast knowing what Africa is. Yes. And that is why we are called the African Hub. You know? African Hub. So, Rebecca, we yeah. are here. We are having a discussion about Africa. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure someone will be there and be like, hey, these cows are talking about Africa. They seem so proud of Africa. Yeah. But yet they're telling us they are in the UAE. What is the, what is the point there? Mm -hmm. So, for me, it is like... Africa is this beautiful continent. Yes. yes. Africa is this amazing place. But not everything can be done in one place. Yes. You will find that there are so many people in Africa mm. with a lot of things that can benefit the rest of the world. For that example, the true. UAE. Because, well, we are going to talk about UAE because this mm. is where we are. We reside. We've mm. seen a lot of people who are trying to come in the UAE to invest here. Because the UAE, of course, I mean, what can I say about the UAE? It is the, it's the center Mm, of, of the world it is like the center of the business, of business world yeah. yes it mm. is the center of the business world yeah. so for me i'm saying that 
Africans, you're out there and you're wondering where is the best place that you can invest. I'm going to tell you it is the UAE. Mm. Because when it comes to the UAE, you can never go wrong. Yes. I mean, it is like growing on a daily basis. Exactly. And being in the UAE for quite some time, I mean, been here for what, seven years now? Personally, I'm not talking really, about it. Really, me, uh, me um, <laughs> but I don't even know. Like, I, I came here in 2014, so that would be like a nine for me by the end of this year. It would be nine years, yeah? Yeah, pretty much close yeah, to nine the years. Same. Yeah, mm. it's a uh, close. Uh, we're, we're almost here for the same time. Mm. Now, when you stay here, you learn a number of things. Yep. You realize that UA is that one place of opportunities. Mm. And being here for all this time, I mean, like I told you, Shaika International Group yeah. is a company that we started here. Yes. And when you look at the returns that it brings is something that you would like to invite your other, you know, people come around and, the world mm, to come and take, explore yeah. to as well. So you find that there are people there in Africa who are looking at how to get in the UAE and what they can do in the UAE. Mm. We are saying, don't be there. Don't ask yourself a lot of questions because yeah. you are still on the right group. Come to us. Tell us what your interest is. Let us know what it is exactly that you're looking for. Are yep. you there and you have you're into agribusiness, but you're wondering where to keep it. Because, hey, honestly, UAE, mm. they don't farm. They have a few farms, but it is not like on a level uh, uh, which mass, can, mass, uh, yeah, mass, which mass can production feed us farming yeah. who are here. Mm. So now if you're there and then you're looking at how to get involved in the UAE market, we are still here to tell you that this is the right show for you. Mm. Yeah. So just come here and we will take you through the processes of how you can invest in the UAE, mm. which authorities you have to talk to. We have connections with most of these authorities. Mm. We know how to get you to the chambers. We know how to get you to register your companies. Mm. All kind of licenses, we know how to do that. Yep. Yep. Um, anything you'd like to add? on that my dear oh yes so if you're there and you have a question and we, it's something that we've talked about on this show you can please feel free to use the comment section ask any bit of question that you have and as Zam has said we are in the UAE we reside in the UAE we love it here it's a beautiful place to be as well so if you'd like to come and join us here as she said please feel free let us know you can put in the comment section, you can contact us and we shall be able to guide you through that. Yes, we will do that. Mm. And um, there are some things that we may not have in details, we may mm. not know so much and mm. you're there, you feel like you have a lot of information about a specific yes. country and you're like, oh, these people are not talking about my country. Don't feel left out. Yeah. Just come in our comment section and say like, hey guys, I'm from Kamuli in Uganda, but you're missing out on this. Or you can mm. tell me I'm from Kenya. I'm from Gabon. You can say I'm from Gabon. You can yeah. say I'm from Nigeria, mm. but you're missing on telling out about this. I'm just from come with Mauritius. There are some countries actually people don't know. Uh, <laughs> I know, uh, right? Countries. I just came to realize that <laughs> Seychelles is it yes. Seychelles? Please, Seychelles, uh, yeah. guys. Um, like. <laughs> I'm not I'm not an English woman, so yeah. I'm a Musoga somewhere. Yeah. Uh, it's a village deep yeah. in Uganda. Yeah. So if I make a mistake in English, please, I'm not, I'm not. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Disclaimer, you can put in the comment section. Well, yes, actually, it, I think it is Sashley's. I mean, who knew it is an African country? Yes. Mauritius. I'm like, Mauritius. okay, this doesn't sound African it's at all. It's a beautiful all. place, by the way. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. a worth going to place. Yeah. Yeah. We will go there. We, we will. We will take you there. <laughs> we are going to don't. take you on a ride in Africa. We are going to be visiting all these African countries. Yeah. Whereby we will be giving you videos about all these African countries. Yeah. Letting you know what it is that you're missing about these African countries. Mm. What it is that you can do with these African countries. Yes. The love the, the, that comes with Africa and then the beauty, the culture. Yes. I mean, you know, even if you find mm. Africans dressed, you know, when you find... The attires. The attires. I know you I want mean, to see. Yeah. You'll be like, okay, yeah, we are going to take you to that right. Exactly. And you're going to, to see why it is called the mother of all the continents, you know? Which has a lot of beauty. Talk about the equator, the different yeah. species of birds. Talk about the big animals, the big five. You mentioned that. And River Nile. River Nile. The source of River Nile is in Uganda, actually. Exactly. So this, this is all tourism for you guys there. And we are going to be taking you step by step yes. about this tourism will be taking you step by step mm. about investing in Africa. We'll be taking you step by step about doing trade, about doing business. Yes. We have very many people here who are wondering, where can I invest my money? I have my money, but I don't know where I'm going to invest it. We are here for you. We are here for we'll you. We'll show you where to put your money <laughs> and it will give you yes. a very big ROI. Return of investment is superb in Africa. Yes, it is. Because mm. um, I was watching one of uh, one of the shows where one of the presidents, actually my president was yes. saying that yes. I, he was talking to some investors here in the UAE and he was yes. telling them, I'm looking for where to invest. Come in Africa. You know, he, he, he clearly told them. Yes. Because first of all, you are sure the market is there. 
you are sure yes. the labor is there. Yes. Because when you look at the population of some of these African countries, I'll mm. give you an example of Uganda. Yeah. You realize that Uganda's population, it has, I think, 65 or 70 percent youth. Young, yes. So these are people who are energetic. Mm. They still have all the energy to do your work. They, are, they can consume, mm. you know, it is like. Just don't be there wondering what is it that you can do with your money when the African hub is here to take you through all Ooh, that stress. We will do that for you. Well, um, we are here blumbling about Africa, but someone may be wondering, <laughs> what, what are these this girls Africa? talking about? <laughs> Where is Africa? Rebecca, oh. take us through the geographical We'll draw a picture. Now, yes, I'm going to draw a picture. picture. In the Beningeng, <laughs> there was the world, and God made the world. Okay, yeah. Yes. So Africa is actually located, um, I'll, I'll just give you the neighboring so you can make the map through with me, and the neighboring is we have the Indian Ocean on the, the, the right hand side. We we have the, the Mediterranean Sea, we have the Red Sea, and we have the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. Yeah. That is the, uh, the bordering. And it's um it's the, the second largest continent it is. in the whole world. Yeah. So when we talk continents, mm. someone may be wondering yes. what is a continent. You know, surprisingly, <laughs> people would find you and they ask you, Are you from Africa? Oh, yes, I'm from Africa. Yeah. I mean, to some people, Africa is a country. It is. A, no, it's not a country. <laughs> Africa has a whole 54 countries. Exactly. Africa yeah. is made up of a number of countries, yeah. which are like 60, uh, 54 countries. 54 countries, yeah. Then now you'll see that uh, within Africa, you'll find that there is the western part of Africa, yep. where you'll find countries like um, Nigeria. Yes. We have Niger. I think we have Ghana. Gabon. We have Ghana. We have Cameroon. In Africa, still in the Nicole, West, yeah. All in West Senegal. Africa. Yes. And then you'll see that we have the eastern part of Africa. Where, where, where we come, come from. from. <laughs> <laughs> there you will find Rwanda. You'll find Uganda. Burundi. Uganda. Kenya. Tanzania, you will find... Um, um, there is also... Did you mention Rwanda? Yeah, no, I didn't. There so is Rwanda Sudan. is also there. Sudan is also now considered in the East African Central community. Central East African, yeah, yeah. Somewhere there. And mm. then now we'll go to Central Africa. Yep. Central Africa, you will find countries like... Uh, Congo. Congo. Yes, it's Congo is really in Central huge. Africa. Mm. And then we have the Central African Republic. Yep. And then we have Chad there. Yep. That is all in Central Africa. We can also say and Ethiopia hey, is around there as is well. Is it? Mm. Well, here North is Central. Mm. If you feel like... You we're placing you in the wrong state of Africa. <laughs> Please don't be afraid to come in the comment section. Here mm. we are saying, we are talking about Africa, but hey, we are not talking about this, only us. Yeah. We are all Africans. Yes, and we, we love our continent to the bestest of the... I mean, it is the craziest love we can give out there. Yeah. So just come in the comment section and tell us where exactly which country of Africa you're coming from mm. and which section of Africa you are. If you're a Nigerian, you can say, hi, I'm a Nigerian and I'm coming from uh, West Africa. Yeah. If you're Ugandan, you can say, hey, I'm Uganda and I'm watching you guys from East Africa. And so don't we are forget calling upon you to come and uh, indicate wherever you are. Yes. Still talking about Africa. Mm. Africa is uh, being the second largest continent is not small and 54 yeah. countries is really 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 a big number. Exactly. Which one is the largest country of Africa? We have uh, Algeria. Algeria. Yeah, it's Algeria. Algeria and uh, okay much of it is uh, is uh, has a desert. A, a desert in yes, it but, uh, but it's the largest country yeah, well, and if you're talking about next the to it we can have Congo. Yeah. Congo is really large. That country is really Talk huge, about Congo know? by the way because I mean th there's there's a saying which you you, you normally uh, you know we, we normally talk and this that that I, I would like you to be the one to say it. <laughs> what God? What did God do again? Well, this is what happens with <laughs> Congo. Congo happens to be one of the biggest countries in Africa. Yes. Uh, I mean, if you're looking for the biggest countries in Africa, yeah. Congo comes in, I think, the second or third. It's the second country. It's the second, second biggest by and land. Now, Congo is not just the largest country in Africa. Eh. Congo has, like, if you're looking for minerals, like everything rich, looking Congo. for gold, mm. Congo. Looking for diamonds, Congo. Cobalt. Congo. Like everything you're looking <laughs> for. There is that specific type of timber which is mm. only found in Congo. In like, Congo, I yeah. Think it's red something. Mm. You cannot find it. Anywhere but, in, but Congo. in Congo. So we always have a friend who is from Congo and she's like, you know what, guys? What we always say is that when God was creating these yeah. other countries and giving them all their minerals and yeah. giving them everything that they are going to be proud of, yes. he kind of got tired and dumped the whole bag in Congo. Yes. So you realize that Congo would pretty much got everything. everything. I mean, even things that we are supposed to be divided among other African countries. Or around the world, uh, we are is all in the Congo. <laughs> so God was like, "Let me just place this here, and yes. I just go take a rest. When I come back, I'll continue." But He was like, ah, no, "This Congo no is too Let me just leave it in there. After all, it's big enough. So just a joke." Yes. <laughs> so then I think uh, the other biggest country there we have yeah. Sudan. Mm, yeah. Uh, initially, really Sudan yeah. had two countries. 
whereby uh, I think it was one and then yeah. they divided into two. Into so now they have the Southern Northern Sudan mm-hmm. and then the Northern Sudan. Yeah, I Southern happen to Northern. have gone to the Northern Sudan some time back oh. and um, they, are, they were still having that issues of the fighting and the everything. But mm. I mean, they are just like, the, the only thing that surprised me most is yes. the fact that the Northern people and the Southern are kind of different. You'll find some of them are like Arabs, Arab white. Oh yes. yes, from the northern. Actually, part. I think we have some of those. We have the Arab Arab East Africans, like the ones who are yes. the hair is really long exactly. and curly, <laughs> and then we have us who are hundred percent black. Black. <laughs> the hair is that kind of. Yeah. You know, you some c- people actually hate <laughs> you being come called black. They mm. say it is racist, it's white. But it's hey, me saying it, and thing. I'm black, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, it is. Mm. It's it's one way of us identifying ourselves, and we love it. And um, we do love. I it. mean, you have you ever met? A beautiful, beautiful black girl. I mean, you're not even black, Rebecca. So hey. stop saying you're black. Hey. <laughs> ah, so someone is ever. You'll find someone who has that beautiful yeah, dark skin. The melanin. And then it, mm. it glows. There is a way that black glows. It glows differently. And it, it's amazing. Yeah. You know? And then uh, when you look, and then some, some actually this kind of skin that we are talking about. Yes. It is there in the South Sudan. And then mm. when you go to the Northern Sudan, you will find uh, the... the the Arabs. Ah, I mean, they're brighter. you'd look at them and oh. then you'd not differentiate them from the Arabs we're having here Isn't from the Africa UAE. Beautiful? Then you're mm. like, okay, so this is also Africa. Beauty and of yes, Africa. A Africa. lot of uh, people from Egypt, you mm. see, if you find people from Egypt, Tunisia, Morocco. I mean, they're like, you wouldn't say they're Africans. Yes. And yet they are actually Africans. Which is, which takes me to something. Yeah. When you tell people that you are, you, if you're from Africa. Yes. They expect you to just be black like we are. <laughs> it is beautiful. Yes, we love it. And it's beautiful. But even people who, some countries have white people, like they're really white and they're African. Yes. So someone will be like struggling. I'm, I'm Egyptian and I'm in Africa. And they're like, really? Are you coming from Africa? No. Yeah. I, I'm com- I, I come from Africa. So because they are white, it might be difficult for someone to just take it that they're Africans. But yeah, Africa is blessed with different color, complexions and different uh, people. It's, we are just so blessed. Talking about complex and countries, mm. you're going to, there are countries which are, like you said, mixed. Yes. My favorite of them all is the South African. Ah. Oh, my goodness. Talk about the South African. South Africans. Africa is like a rainbow country. <laughs> it's like, it is a country of its own. It has its yeah. own kind of uniqueness. Mm. You'll find people, Indian um, background. You'll find those ones with the European background. Mm. And then you'll find those ones with the real, real African background. I mean, they us. Yes. You know? Mm. And then they're all blending in in one country. And they're all coming out as Africans. Mm. And then you're like, okay, what is it about so this South beautiful. Africa? Yeah. And then the other thing that I love about that continent is their music. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the, the, Have the you country. enjoyed the South African music? I've heard the language. You said... I want to host someone who is, <laughs> my name is Rebecca. <laughs> well, if and you're it, there and that is how you speak your language. We are looking well, for you, please. Rebecca wants to host you. <laughs> All right. Oh God, so, yeah. well, talking about Africa, like mm. we are saying, yeah. we are going to be going deep. We are going to be diving yes. deep, deep down into the African roots. We are going to be giving you everything that there is to know about Africa. Yeah. We are going to be talking about Africa from the north to the south. We are going to be talking from about east Africa to west, yeah. from the east to the the West, mm. and then we are going to go deep. How, what do they eat? True. How do they speak? Mm. What do they do? How, which kind of schools do they attend? Which kind of education do they mm. attend? This kind of information is what we want to bring you to. Yeah. How is their political status like? Uh, how is their um, how is their presidents? How do they elect them? Yeah. You mm. know all these details. The exact status of a country. So yes. you won't feel lost if you want to go visit a country. You know at least where you're going and what you you expect to find there. Exactly. Yeah. Because um, so many people wonder what is mm. it about Africa that uh, everyone is talking about. Believe you me, when you ride with us on this journey, mm. you're going to know what exactly Africa is about yes. and what it is that Africa offers to the world mm. and what it is that the world offers to Africa. Because this is a two way. Yeah. There is no way Africa would be spreading love without it receiving it back. There is yes. no way it would only be giving without mm. it getting back. Exactly. Like we said, most of the people here are looking at investment and now the only virgin, I mm. mean, the only virgin place, it is like Africa is virgin. Yeah. In such a way that they and still have the resources, they mm. still have the land, they still have the... I mean, and then when it comes to resources, these are natural resources. Yeah. You will see that here in the UAE. How many times do we see rain? 
we uh, nowadays we are rich in rain it comes like a month or two but, it, and but it's not it. like very common yeah. but then when mm. you come to a country like uganda you will see that they have two uh, rainy seasons yeah. where it rains like I mean, I, sometimes I tell people, see where I come from. <laughs> yes. I will not even be able to tell you when it is raining and when it is not you, raining. You just because it's raining it in shine. the morning. Yes. And then after two hours, it is all sunny. Bright sunshine. Like, like it hasn't rained at all. <laughs> and this is not sun. only happening Innocent in rain. Uganda. Yeah. You know, mm. there is the area in, uh, in Kenya which yeah. has the Rift Valley. Oh, my mm. goodness. They were telling me how magnificent this place is. I mean. Have you heard of the Rift Valley? Mm -hmm. Do you know what the Rift Valley is? Would you like to see it? These are some of the things that we are going to tell you about yeah. Africa that you're going to enjoy most. Yes. You were talking about the equator. Yeah. Africa is somewhere there. The equator, then people will ask middle, you what Middle is of the, the world, like imaginary line uh, that, that's like maps the center of the world. Yeah, like the it middle does. of the world. And many of the countries included in the equator, we have so many of them in Africa. We Uganda is one of Uganda, them. Kenya is have, one of them. Mm. And uh, a number of other Africans. Yeah. So with this equator being there, an imaginary line, it gives us some... It comes with its own benefits. Yeah, there are and things which happen it, only in that place. Yeah. Yes. Mm. And... Uh, most of them, they're happening in Africa. I mean, we talk about the Nile, yep. River Nile. Yeah, the source of River Nile. It is in Uganda. Uganda. Yes. And then, surprisingly, they yeah. tell us that it was found by uh, a non-Ugandan. So, honestly, yeah. how was the source of River Nile found by <laughs> Sir Albert <laughs> <laughs> and These you, are some of the things you we come to Ghana. Maybe you find some so other sources. So you want to tell me that your musoga, musoga, why didn't that one? Tell us about sources. <laughs>